Hello, Gravy Timothys, and welcome back to another look at a brand new Hearts of Iron 4 DLC. Now, we definitely got off to a bit of a flying start in the last video. As you saw, I did enjoy my time in Brazil. First time anyone's ever said that. Uh, now, I'm obviously gonna say that the first time we played in Brazil, we did have a lot of fun. It was pretty good, but also, you know, when you're conquering all of South America, uh, there's only so many times you can do it before it, it doesn't start being fun again. Uh, but there has been a lot of criticism for this DLC already, and I can see where people are coming from for the most part. It, it, it would probably get a little samey, but I'm not going to random rave too much in this video. I think once we do all the nations, I'll, I'll give my proper opinion. I also come up with a bit of a dastardly new series that I won't reveal just yet, but keep your eyes peeled, Timmy, because I've got an idea and it may involve the alphabet once again okay now immediately people are going to be asking am i going to be doing the uh, little secret path argentina has relating to this fella right here and the answer is not today but i will be doing it in that future little series <laughs> because you know a now once again we are very much spoiled for choice on which path we are going to do today but i have heard good things about the left side over here and going with the communist argentina path so i think that's where i'm going to be going today that's right boys how could you tell i'm south american okay so when you get down to the communist path over here in the middle you get your choice of going with the soviets or staying on your own and i think i'm gonna have to pick going on my own because the leader becomes Fanny Eldman. <laughs> it's just a great name. And you know, depending on what part of the world you're from, that name can be even funnier. Yeah, I don't think our ambitions are going to be uh, too far reaching in this game. We're definitely going to be zoomed in on South America a lot more than the Brazilian game, I imagine. Uh, it's because that they were focusing on uniting the great continent under the socialist banner of Fanny Eldman. <laughs> Okay, does look like we're gonna have to do a civil war to get our communist overthrowing, um, which is fine, considering I have a oh, 69% support for Fanny. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, that's too much. If YouTube figures out what we're talking about here, it's a guy to the gulag. Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay, well, we're making her our field marshal immediately. Fanny Eldman will lead the charge. Okay, yeah, easy peasy. Just walk straight into the capital, and I think with this VP down right right here that might be enough to capitulate them nope of course it's never that easy there you go it was that easy and we are now unified under our republica popular argentina okay now we got ourselves our great fearless leader fanny, <laughs> fanny oldman and uh, i think what i'm gonna do is rush straight down to the warpath over here where we can unify all of south america and then pass then we can then integrate them. Something we could not do as Brazil. Uh, well, at least not the path I did as Brazil. Okay, so we do get a another actual option as well. If we want to, we could go with Antonio Soto. Um, but I don't think this is what we're going to do at all. This unlocks this stuff over here. And we go uh, pretty anarchist, if you can't tell. Uh, but instead, I want to keep Fanny around. One, because she's got an amazing name. And two, because that will give us Liberate the Continent, which will just give us war goals on every one immediately okay so we're already getting some op focuses already doing this one over here if you just look at the bonuses it gives us first the recruitable population absolutely amazing especially for south america supply consumption war support 20 percent division attack and support for communism all in one focus uh it's safe to say uh i think all of these new focus trees are just disgustingly powerful and the first nation officially falls to our new emp uh, workers the commonwealth of free people uh did not say empire there but yeah we're gonna try to get this done rapid fire i'm just spamming out whatever starting oh it's so bad we're spamming out whatever we start with and we're just gonna try to take as many countries as we can before people start rolling because uh our industry is not looking too good so i have no real backbone to support what i'm doing now okay now after doing our integration of the americas we can now focus on integrating any provinces we take and i'm pretty sure yes you can actually do multiple uh once it does cost a lot of political power but it is just so so 
so better than any integration they've ever done before like these decisions. Uh, the only one I can really think of off the top of my head is the uh, the anarchist version of Spain where I think you need to give yourself like 80% compliance in states and stuff like that and then also do this? It, it's a bit ridiculous. And on top of that, you can correct me if I'm wrong, little Timmy Lawmasters in the chat down below, but I think you can only do like one of the decisions at a time too, so you really get limited over there. But down here, it's a free-for-all. Uh, but yeah, from all the guns I, I get off these people, I'm just gonna spam out more units, and if I'm lucky, you know what? I'll throw a little bit of artillery in them. No, what's fun? Pushing across a mountain into more mountains. Let's go! Very handy thing about Chile just being a big old line is <laughs> it's very easy just to walk around them. Yeah, once you've uh, broken them up a bit like this, uh, everything just seems to fall apart. Okay, already we're looking so damn good, but I think it's definitely time for us to take on the Brazilian menace. Yeah, my army's so disgustingly huge for what, uh, what is South America, pretty much, that I think I'm just gonna be able to walk around the Brazilians here, no problem whatsoever. Uh, also, I think I'm just straight up allergic to do any of the uh, industry focuses. I'm just gonna keep going down the military tree now and just get all of these like bonuses. They're absolutely insane. <laughs> God is smiting us down for our invasion of Chile. Okay, good news is just rushing, conquering all of South America works pretty damn well. There goes Brazil. Okay, now I think Peru might be a bit more of a uh, tough nut to crack, but I do have to get them out of here as quickly as I can, really, because uh, they're just going to get more and more troops and just going to make the land even worse to push through. Oh my god, I have so much stuff to integrate. Okay, but I'm telling you, don't bother doing your industry tree, boys. <laughs> just steal everyone else's. And let's hope this goes uh, as easy as I hope it does. Okay. You know how I just keep talking about how you get these bonuses that are really overpowered? Well, boom, there's just an extra 10% artillery attack out of nowhere. Okay, Peru, not bad. Did take a few more casualties than uh, necessary, and we are sitting at 0% manpower right now, but that is because I'm still on volunteer only. I should probably stop integrating for a bit and uh, actually just uh, up that because we're going to struggle in case we are... Uh, End up with all the allies with these last ones up here. Oh, now, okay, we could go ahead and increase conscription and get even more recruitable population factor, which is already, we have uh, quite a bit, I think, just from our leader here and then another one there, and then there's even more in here somewhere. Look at all these spirits, okay? Yeah, you know, socialist unification. There's another one right there. Like, I think we have enough already. On top of the fact we're gonna get cores on all this land anyway, I'm definitely just gonna make my units as over powered as possible and go over here and i really gotta hope colombia does not join anyone's faction they are democratic and uh that would that would i'm not ready for that at all and then all that is left over is oh wait holy crap we get we get it all on the caribbean as well and central america hold on a second we we got a lot more to take than i thought oh, shout out uh half the colombian army that tried to escape through the amazon okay and there is colombia gone I'm not too worried about Venezuela joining the actors. I don't think they will, although they definitely can. All the Japanese faction. You know, I'll, I'll take a save in case. Uh, okay, for a second, I thought that was Venezuela. Okay, I think that is 100% where we're going to be stuck now. There's no way we're going to be able to, like, actually get any more land. These guys are all democratic um, for the most part. Hard. I uh, yeah, just just a couple that aren't. So they could all really join factions, and I don't really need any more lamb right now. Uh, and I am gonna take a precautionary save and try to actually get uh, Panama here, because that's gonna be pretty useful later on for if I uh, decide to go mess with Uncle Samuel. Uh, just not entirely sure I'll be able to do it without them joining a faction. So here goes nothing. Oh yeah, they're getting the allies pretty damn quickly. I. Don't, yeah, okay, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get that. Sad, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We got the permanent war goals anyway, we'll get them later. Yeah, but just look at that. A unified South America that you can core, just all of it, that easy. I didn't build anything special. My units are just the starting template with a bit of artillery. That is beautiful. Uh, so I think it's uh, definitely fair to say now that I should probably take a couple years just to 
uh, <laughs> build the actual country up. Okay, economy looking good. We've got a whole bunch of the land already caught. Now you can kind of see where I'm going if you um, look where I don't have the little pip for. And I think I've decided that our next goal, the big thing, the big push, will definitely be to take out the US, uh, which of course means we're going to have to fight the allies. And that's not going to be too easy. So as such, I've spent the past couple years getting all the naval research tech that I need so I can actually build myself a navy, as we're definitely going to need one to protect us from the endless naval invasions. But I did actually manage to get ourselves one heck of a navy already from annexing everyone down here. Uh, it, it's not what I'd call good, but um, it's definitely going to get us enough super superiority over here that they probably won't be too annoying with the naval invasions. And then we're building our new navy up here to deal with everything around here. Okay, so considering what I'm looking for right now is to take over the US, what's happening in Europe isn't ideal, as I want a lot of the allies to be over there and not over here. So we're going to have to start relieving a bit of pressure. Okay, so the way we're actually going to go about doing this is we are going to declare war on power. Panama. Hopefully they go ahead, join the allies, which they more than likely will from what we saw before. And then I'm just going to try and mop up all the land down here I need to worry about. And then um, we're not going to put the Navy out just yet because I don't think it'll uh, cover what we need. And most importantly, we're going to steal these islands back. And now, considering we have literally no aluminiums ourselves, we really need these provinces to actually get some planes out because we have a hundred right now. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more if we're making it all the way up to the US of A. But after a precautionary save, just in case everything goes absolutely horribly, it's time to fulfill our destiny. And we're also going to go closed economy because it's not like any of these uh, the convoys <laughs> and the trade that we're doing is going to reach us. I imagine we're going to get absolutely raided into the ground. And, and of course, uh, Panama didn't even join the allies. Let's go ahead and try that one again. We're, we're, we're having a bit of a fun dance there. And they're not, they're not going to join the allies either, are they? No. <laughs> Just going to keep going until someone does. Okay, no one joined. We're doing this the hard way. We have uh, probably about five minutes of initiative and surprise here looking at the germans just gonna go ahead roll into everything that we can right now and did we get the landing we're getting the landing completely unopposed hopefully they don't turn back up in six months and sink all my ships and boom there goes south georgia so we shouldn't have to worry too much about that anymore uh we could go for these other little islands but they're a bit out of my scope and i think our naval supremacy is holding up yeah pretty much um I'm not too sure about this one. Finally, the Netherlands join the war, which means I can finish all this up. And then we're going to go straight into America. I'm so glad the uh, the entire population of the exiled Netherlands decided to die here. And I imagine, yep, there goes the Axis. Fun, fun, fun. I do still have the Japanese being a pain in the world. I hope they are actually doing something useful. Okay, well, other than uh, mainland China, that didn't go too well for them, I see. So, all eyes aren't on me just yet, but we, we really need to get the US as quickly as we can now. Oh, and Communist China just joined the Allies, which is, uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> that does mean that they're now going to be at war with China, which is them, even more units, going to have to go deal with Asia, which is great for us. Yeah, and our aircraft production is just absolutely insane right now because we have all this aluminiums. We don't have a good amount of steel though, which is holding back the ship production, but I think we do have... Yeah, we do have green uh, green seas everywhere, baby. Oh, uh, well, you know, Stalin, if you're just sending me 21 whole divisions, you may as well just join this war. Oh, uh, China's called for backup, apparently. Hold on, you said 21. What happened to that other guy? Why's only 20 made it? <laughs> uh, it, it could, it could, could have could have sank let's be real all right i have to do a pause for a bit because the line is just getting stretched pretty damn thin right now and uh i need a few more units to uh mostly just hold this part right here while i can just push into america because as you can see uh there's not a lot here well 
At least nothing I reckon can stop me at this point. So I decided to pull back for the uh, the defensive a bit here, just so I could fix supply. Uh, I didn't show it, but I was getting raided really badly here. But I just put out one of the uh, navies I've been building to convoy raid, and then I put some naval bombers over, and now I have supply, which is really good. Yeah, also during that, the US and the UK were both just running into me like madmen. As you can see from the casualties here, it definitely left an impact, but more more importantly, the Soviets went to war with the. So now there's a lot less on this border for me to just push through. All right, so the good news is every state we take off the US really helps because we do have a full collab on them. <sighs> There we go. And that is, for a 1949 US capitulation, not a lot of equipment. Uh, and you know what? Actually, yeah, I'm going to release them straight away as our provisional government, collab government. And that will be uh, hopefully a, a, an added ally to actually do something. Because we still have to somehow beat the UK and France here to get a capitulation going. Although, actually, the Soviets are doing incredibly well. They might deal with France on their own but I guess I will have to deal with the UK, which I can just naval invade from uh, the Soviet's land, but we won't be able to get any air over there as so we can't get in their faction. Hey, but you know what? When there's a will, there's a fanny. <laughs> okay, we're definitely taking a risk bringing the Navy over, but I need supremacy so we can get our landing off and then we'll be done. We'll actually have destroyed the Allies. Oh, uh, well, I was about to say uh, our sneaky invasion of Hull is about to commence, but it's so damn sneaky, they haven't even garrisoned okay goodbye great britain mind it can never be that simple i also need to capitulate turkey oh you know i'm just so glad turkey has so many vps nothing makes me happier than having to take every single town village and shed in turkey to get them to capitulate oh we china just took all of africa and southern france you know what I, I can't even complain about that. You gotta respect the hustle. But there we go. Look at that beautiful North America right there. Still under the leadership of my little puppet government. But we did take Canada because I didn't have a collab government on them. Didn't really uh, bother. Uh, also, never really even thought twice about invading El Salvador. <laughs> no real purpose to it, you know? So they're just free. And... Uh, Preparing for the worst, by the looks, I think they got tanks. They've actually got medium tanks. And that is pretty damn beautiful. I don't actually know. Can I integrate these states? I can't. So the states you can only uh, integrate are the ones from the South American countries. For whatever reason, you can't actually integrate these ones, which is uh, a bit sad. Oh, wait, never mind. I just unpaused. And there you go. You can, not only can you integrate all of that stuff, you can also integrate, looks like, all of the Caribbean too. So if I did go ahead and invade all of these guys, which I just didn't have time to do, um... Well, I could have probably got them in on the in the last war, but I just didn't care. Uh, but you can get uh, calls on this stuff too, which actually would be worth it because Cuba is stacked with chromium. And uh, even though I didn't really show them off, I did make some tanks and modern tanks do require a hell of a lot of chromium. Uh, yeah, I do think I preferred the Brazil game personally. Most uh, Mostly down of the way I played though. I think that this was fun at the start when I was conquering all of South America, but then everything past then was just, as you could probably uh, assume, pretty much torturous. I'm sure you could definitely play this differently and have more fun with it, but yeah, for so far, uh, you know, the Brazil game was a good B. A good B for Brazil. Well, in terms of gameplay, uh, the, the focus tree, I think Brazil's focus tree is still very good. Argentina's is also very good. You get very, very powerful. As you can see, I'm certainly only sitting on like 900 factories. Uh, but yeah, it could just be the way I played. Either way, it was, it was okay. It wasn't better than Brazil, but it was still a lot of fun. Would I play this again? Definitely not, though. <laughs> so, you know, so far for the DLC, everything has been passable. I have to say the best part is, though, these focus trees are really well done for just making you super overpowered. I mean, I know I showed off in the Brazil game, but just just look at the... <laughs> just look at that! Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely safe to say that all of these new focus trees are the most powerful ones that they've ever added into the game. And it's just hilarious because it's South America. Um, but, you know, I guess it's kind of self-contained with how powerful you are regardless because you are, again, trapped in South America. But 
Next up on the chopping block, I will be looking at Chile, and we will be doing their... Uh, well, I won't spoil it, actually. We'll be doing a very fun path for Chile. So, if you'd like to see that and continue our journey in the brand new DLC for Hearts of Iron 4, leave a like and subscribe, please, Fanny.